I'm Robert Kay, a secondary mathematics teacher, and over the past few months I've been using the Problem Pictures CD. This CD has a variety of pictures with captions telling you what the picture is of and some questions to promote mathematical thinking. It has a search function which allows you to navigate through these pictures. This CD can't be used directly on a whiteboard. The font is far too small and there's far too much of it. So instead I've used excerpts from it in a couple of lip charts and lessons and over the past couple of minutes I'll be saying when I've used it successfully and when I haven't. Here is a slide which was particularly successful. It was used as a starter where pupils drifted into the classroom and took a seat. It created an atmosphere of suspense and they had no idea what this was leading to. It then led to this slide where I introduced Rushton Lodge, built with number three in mind, which represents the Holy Trinity. This is a nice link to make, especially as I currently teach at a Catholic school. I then introduced the main objective of the lesson, identifying numbers which are multiples of three. After months of using this CD, this was my best application as a resource in a lesson. When used successfully, the pictures gave a historical reference to a topic before pupils immersed themselves with calculations. Here is another example of a successful use. It simply showed information pupils needed to know in the 19th century. The message here was to make progress, there is information you need to know at hand. We then looked at square roots. What I'm about to show you now is a slide which wasn't successful and I would be very hesitant to use it in the future. As I was doing a lesson on geometry, I used the search function to find a picture connected with angles. It led me to this, a picture of an airplane wing. From the picture, I wasn't really sure how the wing moved, but thought the subject matter was intriguing enough, especially to the class I had in mind with a high ability. I copied and pasted the caption, making sure the font was clear to read. It emerged that the main use of this CD was classroom displays. I had a display to do on careers in mathematics. I had some beautiful pictures of some archaeologists, a roofer and a gardener to put on there through this CD. Uh, using it in lessons was fantastic, but it took an awful lot of time to make accessible links uh, pupils could follow between the picture and the main content of the lesson. So I don't think you could use it so much in a regular occurrence. To conclude, the CD encourages mathematical conversation in the classroom, giving it a cultural reference. It shows plenty of applications, good to refer to when planning any lesson, and is very good for displays. However, it can't be used directly in the classroom as the font is not always clear, you can't search very easily uh, through mathematical topics and it is something that you can't refer to as well instantaneously as you need to have questions and appropriate responses prepared. I hope you found this review useful. This is Robert Kay saying goodbye. Goodbye.